Right everyone, so what you just witnessed was the secret door with a furnace. It basically you have your room here. I'm actually out in my flat map flat map right now. You go into here and you use the furnace and you go ahead and put a sapling or any sort of fuel source in there. And these doors open up. You can go in I go ahead and close again. You can do your stuff in there and uh, when you wanna leave you press that, full through, and you're in the secret room and no one will ever know that there's anything above here. And you can just go up here and exit. And I'm going to be showing you how to make that today, so we're going to go ahead and jump on now to the very first step. Alright everyone, so the building process for this isn't actually that hard. You just want to start off by building your ba basic bud switch. Uh, you want to break a block down with a redstone torch. And a sticky piston there with a block of your choice on it, like that. And uh, right here you want to build one on top of there and just build it all the way across here. Now the further you build away here, the longer the doors will stay open for, so I like to keep it open for quite a long time, so I'm going to build it about that far out. And once you've found your place where you want to stop, you just put it there, and a torch at the bottom of that. Now you're going to put dust on there, and repeaters all across here, and another bit of redstone there. Now you want to set these to how fast you want it to go, I like to keep it on 4, so that's a nice, a nice one to keep it on actually. Alright, so once you settle them up, now your basic bud switch is almost done. Just put your redstone touch, torch dust sorry, above there, and put your block down there, just to test it. You can see the current goes to this block here, and then it go ahead and pulls back, resetting itself. Go ahead and break that block there, we don't need that anymore. Now that's all nicely set up, you can place your furnace down right next to this one, and go ahead and build in your wall here that and again behind there and this is where we're going to have our door here you can have it anywhere across here but I like to just have it here quite close to the furnace so you actually got time to get through so once you've found a place where you can put your door go ahead and dig two blocks down with a sticky piston and the block of your choice for the door obviously I want it to blend with the stone so we're using stone two up there like that with another piston there and your block there Okay, so you should have something pretty much looking like this right now. Now we want to put our current to this one. So, just going to build up a wall like this. And build one, two, and then one like that. And go ahead and fill in redstone. Actually going across here, up to the top. At this point you want to build your inverter. So we put that there with a torch on it. That's going to go ahead and push that one down. And you can put some more dust on there. And now if we simulate the furnace by doing that, you can see that one over there gets pushed down. And it go ahead and resets itself. So now we're done for the top block actually. And now for the bottom one. Build along like that. And just uh, fill the top and the roof in here so you can actually see the piston. Okay, so let's sort the bottom one out now. Dig uh, two blocks down, and two blocks down, and two blocks down. Make another inverter like this, and that should push that one up, completing the wall. And uh, we've actually built one too far, but it doesn't really matter. Just build along like that, and fill it up to there, and that should be good. You don't actually have to build two blocks back, you can just build one from the inverter, so you could put the redstone going up at this point, but it doesn't really matter. So now you can fill that in up to this point here and then you have to build one on top of that otherwise it will cut off the redstone. And this is where your other wall can go. Like this and this is where you can have your secret room or whatever you want to do. Right, so now we have our thing here. We can go ahead and use the furnace and go ahead and test it out. So if we get a... Uh, let's have a piece of wood let's say to put in there. Go ahead and put a bit of wood in, and put a sapling in. I like to use a sapling because then it, it's uh, actually the door only opens once because the sapling actually burns out before the wood cooks itself. So you put that in. They open up. We can get through. You can see they shut right there. We can do whatever we want to do in this room, and uh, that's all sorted now. So that's pretty much it for this video. Also, another little trick that you can actually use is put a couple of saplings in, like this, and then go through the doors. Oh. 
bit too slow. Imagine if I actually went through the doors then. You can do all your stuff in here and wait and the doors will open again. And if we wait again, the doors will shut because it actually burns out and cooks whatever's in there so you don't actually have to use the alternative method which I did building the little pool that you fall down into so you don't that's quite useful. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it was entertaining and uh, useful and helpful. If you did consider leaving a like rating down below and subscribing up top if you haven't already. My cat just made a howling noise and I'll hopefully see you all next time. Goodbye.